When it became clear that my son Daniel had autism at the age of one, my wife and I had absolutely no idea what the best way was to support him. Fortunately, we were lucky enough to come across the Mifni Clinic in Israel, where the whole family went for three weeks of intensive treatment. There, we learned to create a safe environment around him. As well as shielding him from excessive sensory and emotional stimulation to give him a chance to rebuild his strength, this environment was essentially one of unconditional respect, consisting of kindness, responsiveness to his needs and authenticity at all times. His life was totally transformed and it's because of the sheer power of this method that we want to bring our own Mifni clinic to the UK. But we also learned that while this environment is critical to supporting autistic children, it's also an optimal environment for anybody. Who wouldn't thrive in an environment where they encountered only kindness, where people were responsive to them and where people were authentic all the time and where they had the opportunity to give that to other people too? And when I saw the transformation in my son as a result of being exposed to this environment, I came to understand that the things people think of as autism, the communication difficulties, the obsessions and so on, these things are not autism at all. These things are what happen when sensitive and idealistic people are forced to live in a world where they see others exposed and are exposed themselves to unkindness, misunderstanding and cruelty. These things would happen to any of us if we were pushed far enough. I also came to understand that given the right environment from a young enough age, autistic people with their inherent goodwill and open-hearted idealism could really thrive and bring their best to this world, possibly even leading it and giving us the chance to learn what we need to learn from them. And it's this understanding that was the basis for our charity. We'll do all we can to bring this sort of environment to autistic children in everything we do. When we started the charity, myself and Jill decided that we would aim high and stay positive. We would not be a charity that bewailed the state of the world and all the problems that people had, but one that could see what was possible and focus on how we could achieve that. We would not be limited by traditional assumptions of what is and isn't possible, but would think beyond the norm and find our own ways to achieve great things, taking full ownership of all our actions and responsibilities. Importantly, we would approach all questions, not with opinions which we would then need to fight for and defend or compromise, but with perspectives which could enrich and be enriched by others' perspectives. And we would be on a road of continuous learning and improvement. All of these principles now form the heart of our charity's three core values, unconditional respect, courage and purpose. I want these values to be firmly embedded in the life of the charity, guiding and inspiring our behaviour and interaction, so that we can create an environment which is a fulfilling, safe and rewarding one for all of us, so that we can be truly unlimited in our aspirations and in our commitment to what we boldly believe can be possible. I hope these values resonate with you too and you feel inspired and motivated to bring them firmly into your work here at Transforming Autism and into your life more broadly.